This movie is fucked. Welcome to another Monday. As you may have guessed by the title, like I always say, today I'm going to be reviewing the movie The Human Centipede, which came out in late April 2007. It came out on demand first, and then it was in limited theaters. It was a limited release. I think maybe even only in the U.S. I think maybe in Japan and Germany, too. This movie takes place in Germany, where a crazed doctor decides to kidnap three people, two women and a man, because he wants to create a human centipede. The doctor's crazy idea for the human centipede entails joining the three people surgically to be blunt, ass to mouth. It's really what the movie focuses on and I don't want to really explain too much more, I don't want to give anything away. I like keeping the, the description of the movie very minimal and not giving a lot away because then it'll ruin it. So if you didn't like that description, I don't advise watching the rest of this review because I kind of explained it a little bit more, maybe you find it to be quite disturbing and you have a weak stomach even if someone's just describing something to you so maybe don't watch it if you are kind of squirmish. This movie is placed in the horror genre however it's not really scary it's not scary at all I didn't find it's just really disturbing so don't plan on getting scared just plan on being disturbed you'll find out why in a few minutes. Now of course there's a few things about this movie that I just was not fond of. At the beginning of the movie, the two main characters, two women, are traveling by car in Germany. They are on vacation from the U.S., and their car gets a flat tire. In traditional horror movie fashion, they decide to get out, at night I might add, and go walking looking for help. Now you'll notice while watching this movie that the writer of it really wants the audience to know the names of the main characters. This is how a couple of the lines go for about a consecutive minute. This is not exaggerated at all. It's basically line for line. Leaving the car was the stupidest idea. We could have been waiting for hours, Jenny. Yeah, well, we could have waited and we wouldn't have been freezing cold. We need to find help, Jenny. Seriously, find help? How are we going to find help out here, Lindsay? Well, you agreed to come along, Jenny. We just got a little lost, okay? A little lost? We're really lost, Lindsay. You know what? I'm not walking anymore, Lindsay. Jenny, I'm trying, okay? Lindsay, we've been out here for like an hour. So that acting was kind of poor, but this movie, the acting isn't very good also. But I've kind of learned to accept that in horror movies these days. And of course, what would a modern day horror movie be without unnecessary sexual content? Before the human centipede segment begins. What I really liked about this movie is that it didn't take forever for the main plot to begin. It took about 15 minutes for the story to really get going. Usually movies these days take like half an hour to get going, to introduce characters and all that. This movie really got to the point. It introduced the characters, but it didn't take forever. It didn't do it in an unnecessary fashion. They really got down to it and got into the story really quickly. I also really like the fact that the crazy doctor in this movie is genuinely creepy looking. He kind of looks like the Crypt Keeper mixed with Christopher Walken. However, he sounds like Snape from Harry Potter with a German accent. Now, although the concept of this movie sounds pretty graphic, the movie is surprisingly not as graphic as you think. But it is still graphic, just not, they don't really show as much as you would think. Now, you may think that the plot of this movie is really sick. And really, yeah, it is. However, it started out as a joke between Tom Six, the writer and director of this movie, and some of his friends. They said that a reasonable punishment for child molesters would be to surgically attach the mouth of the child molester to the ass of a fat truck driver. Now, I won't reveal whether the doctor succeeds in his experiment of creating a human centipede. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide whether you're brave enough to watch this movie or not. Now, here's a little bit of extra information about the movie. When approaching investors about this film, Tom Six, the writer and director, like I previously stated, did not reveal the uh, mouth-to-anus aspect, fearing that it would deter the investors from investing in the movie. And of course, who wouldn't be put off by such a concept? And they didn't find out until the movie was nearly complete. If you're put off from seeing this movie, the full title, Human Centipede, the first sequence, you definitely won't want to see the sequel that they just started filming this month, The Human Centipede, the full sequence. It sounds messed up. Tom Six stated that this first movie, the first sequence, was really just to get the audience used to the idea of the human centipede. The second movie, the human centipede, the full sequence, is going to, the human centipede is supposed to consist of 12 people, and it's supposed to be a lot more graphic, and they compared it, they said that the human centipede first sequence is like My Little Pony, you know that toy? I don't know why they use that as an analogy, but they said the, f the first sequence is like My Little Pony compared to the, the full sequence, the second movie. So if you don't want to see this one, you definitely don't want to see the next one. Tom Six also said that he is trying to plan what he will do for the third movie. However, he's waiting to see how the second one does. That's it for this movie. I hope you enjoyed the little extra bit of info I threw in here. The plot was simple, so I didn't want it to be like a one-minute review. 
maybe throw a bit of extra in info in there for you. And I'll see you guys next week. Don't go watching this movie if you have a weak stomach. That's just a warning, okay? Okay, bye.